Okay, so here is my response to the question on glucose and uh, lipogenesis. How can an excessive intake of carbohydrates lead to um, a buildup of fatty acids? Now, this is a very interesting question that uh, was asked in one of our clinics. So I just want to explain something quickly. Uh, what happens in the body when you have uh, enough glucose? So I'll call this the time of plenty, the time of plenty when you've eaten quite a lot and uh, the cells have enough glucose, like they have a lot of glucose uh, to use for energy, uh, energy purposes in the body. So the quick breakdown is, is like this. So initially, uh, this glucose is broken down uh, via a process known as glycolysis. I think most of you know about glycolysis. So this is simply a quick outline uh, of what happens. So uh, glucose is broken down via glycolysis to form pyruvate as one of the main uh, products uh, from glucose breakdown. Then this pyruvate is later converted to acetyl-CoA uh, via decarboxylation reactions uh, in the mitochondria. So remember that uh, glycolysis occurs in the cytosol and then um, in the mitochondria you have uh, oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvate to produce acetyl-CoA, which we know is very key uh, in the TCA cycle because um, acetyl-CoA will combine with oxaloacetate here to produce uh, the first product, which is citrate. Now, um, excess citrate. Now we're talking of time, we're talking about times of plenty. So when there's plenty of uh, acetyl-CoA A combined with oxaloacetate and then uh, producing a lot of uh, citrate, you find that citrate will stop uh, proceeding in the TCA cycle, where it's supposed to uh, produce FADH2, NADH, and GTP, uh, in giving out carbon dioxide. So this citrate will be taken or will be shuttled to the a cytosol. So it will leave the mitochondria because you have you have plenty of this. You have plenty of citrate. Like the body has had your cells have enough uh, of uh, citrate and probably a lot of ATP has been generated. So this citrate is actually taken back. Um, is taken into the cytosol where now it is cleaved or broken down to its constituent molecules, acetyl-CoA and oxaloacetate. Now, because this is a time of plenty, this acetyl-CoA now uh, will undergo carboxylation uh, via the work of the enzyme um, uh, acetyl-CoA carboxylase enzyme, which converts acetyl-CoA to malonyl-CoA. And the moment maronyl CoA is produced, this falls directly uh, in the pathway for um, lipogenesis. So briefly, that is how excess excess glucose can eventually lead to uh, lipogenesis. So someone can have excess storage of fat by simply taking carbohydrates, so the same glucose that we know is utilized for energy, during the time of plenty, this same glucose can form fats or fatty acids that can actually be stored. So I hope that is a little bit clear. Uh, in case there are any questions, please you can still ask in the comment section and 
they will be addressed. Thank you very much for watching.